Alrighty, so it is yet again new product day. Seems like only yesterday we launched the Nate Crony Mini. We are here to launch the Nate Crony V2. So you have the Nate Crony Standard, you've got the Nate Crony Mini, and now you've got the Nate Crony V2. Uh, firstly, does this make the old ones obsolete? Is it worth moving to the V2? Absolutely not. Uh, there is no functionality difference. There is no performance difference. By going to the V2, the software is identical. So if you have an existing Nate Crony, uh, as long as you, you're updating the software, it is going to be identical in every way except for the appearance of the Nate Crony V2. So don't feel as though you've bought something that's obsolete. Um, same software, everything is basically the same. Uh, the differences are going to be the aesthetics, so it looks very, very different. We've made it a look a lot more streamlined uh, for the appearance. We've been getting some feedback on that, separate video on the look of the Nate Crony. Also, it's as short as the Nate Crony Mini, a little bit shorter. So it's much shorter. The sensors are closer than the Nate Crony Standard. Technically, that's going to have a variance of about 0.3 feet per second at 1,000 feet. This will be 0.6. We're always going to be under one foot per second variance at 1,000 feet per second. When we did the software optimization for the Mini, we can carry it across and make a V2 a much more smaller and more compact device. We've changed the processor board, which means it's a lot less bulky as well. So it is more streamlined. It's a little bit lighter, I believe. I've got to check the weights. Um, but yeah, so we'll go through a quick unboxing what you're going to get. It is going to be more expensive than the old ones because of what you're getting in the package as well. Um, so yes, you do have a package. All of our packaging, um, there's various packaging laws around the world which are really challenging. All of our packaging is just cardboard paper. There's no plastic printing. They're all organic dyes, etc. Um, certain countries in Europe you can't include silica gel. They're very restrictive on packaging. So that's why the packaging looks a bit meh. Um, plain is good because it goes through post and doesn't get um, missing. So if you purchased an additional adapter like a variable adapter or a custom adapter, that will be in the box. You then of course have the all important sticker that's in the box. With the V2 comes a little Phillips driver. So there is a Phillips head screw, grub screw, which retains the adapters to the body of the crony. You get a little driver just in case you don't have the right size Phillips head. That is now included. You then have the Nate Crony V2 in the carry pouch. There is now included a premium USB cable in all Nate Crony purchases, so it's no longer an optional extra. There's a very specific reason for that in a minute. You have the Nate Crony V2, an adapter will be installed already, and the safety lanyard cable with the carabiner is installed. That's so if anything happens, you drop it, it doesn't go flying. Please use the safety, safety is important. Also will be the spare adapter. You always get two adapters in the Nate Crony standard. Uh, you get the standard adapter with the big grippy tabs, and you also get the slimline adapter, half UNF by 20 uh, threads there for that, which is pretty standard and common. You also get a tiny little test pellet. That's for doing the drop test. Uh, not everyone has batteries laying around. So that's just a little test pellet. If you're not getting a reading, you can always just do a quick drop test to validate that the Nate Crony is working. The reason we've included the USB cable is because the USB connection is now at the side. So what we've got there is a very slim 90 degree right angle cable. So it's not going to be sticking out. Let's remove the adapter. It's not going to be sticking out like that and be really cumbersome. It has a 90 degree edge uh, angle, sorry, to make sure that it is really nice and slim line and compact when you're using it. We've put the cable at the side purely because of the springers. With the Magnum springers, having the cable at the back they can eventually work themselves loose by putting them at the side at 90 degrees, they're never gonna come out. So a much more durable way of mounting for the springers for the big piston people uh, that are using the Nate Crony there. So coming a little bit closer, we'll go through a few of the different options that are gonna be coming on the Nate Crony V2, the different finishes as well. 
Alrighty, so let's have a look what we've got. Uh, so we've got the V2 Nate Crony. You can see the size, the shape, and the profile of that. As I said before, uh, 16 millimeter opening, so much larger caliber. You've got the USB port at the right side. You've got countersunk. Again, all screws, all hardware with the Nate Crony are always stainless. So we've got countersunk blackened stainless screws on the side. We've got the little safety catch. That's the, adapt, um, the grub screw for the adapter. We've got some laser marking branding on the top. Same, same on the other side. On the bottom is a clear PETG covering. That's so you can see the power light when it's powered up or not. Then we've got some tricky things coming for the Airsoft software version. So you can see that's the comparison in terms of size to the Nate Crony Mini and a comparison in size to the standard Nate Crony. Uh, the Mini and the standards, of course, don't have the adapter in them. One of the other bigger changes is that we're going to go to the mythical, the magical aircraft grade aluminium. So we will have aluminium. Uh, these are going to be sent off to the powder coaters. Aluminium covers as well for the Nate Crony. So you have the standard, let's just call that reinforced polymer uh, cover for the Nate Crony there. That's the standard. Uh, there'll be a slight price increase for something like the black anodized or black powder coated laser etched Nate Crony cover. We will be doing a launch edition, which will be in a pretty trick gold. So these are going to be limited to a single run only. Uh, that comes up pretty damn nice. And the other standard color as well as the black is gonna be this light stone color. Uh, they're all textured coatings. They're a little bit rough, they're ultra durable. Uh, it's actually architectural grade powder coating, which typically comes with a 25 year warranty, blah, blah, blah. But really nice finish. Also with the stone, if it's in the sun, it's gonna run a little bit cooler than black, which is everything's always in black for whatever reason. So yes, standard will be the polymer reinforced Nate Crony cover. If you want to upgrade and get the aluminium covers available in the black or the stone with the limited edition of the gold when we launch. Uh, the premium USB cable, uh, similar to the one we have existing where it's USB-C to USB-C. Oh uh, yeah, Nate Cranny V2 is USB-C instead of micro now, but you get the cable anyway. So it's a USB-C to USB-C cable and we supply a little adapter for USB-A to USB-C. So that is everything that you're getting with the Nate Crony V2. Alrighty, so that is the Nate Crony V2. By the time you're watching this, uh, the Nate Crony V2 with the polymer reinforced cover will be available on the Nate Crony website. Uh, we do drop shipping through Pyramid Air as well, so it'll be available on that website. We will be getting some stock to our partner's shooting supplies in the UK very shortly as well. If your local retailer doesn't have that, tell them about the product, do an intro so we can get the right levels of stock. With Pyramid Shooting Supplies, reach out to them, tell them you're interested in the product. That'll allow us to get the right amount of stock to our, our distributors as well. So the Polymer Reinforce will be available immediately. Uh, the aluminium covers in both the stone and the gold limited edition will be available probably around mid July. We're just finishing up the production and the black ones will be available shortly after that mid late July. Again, if you have bought an existing Nate Crony, it's not obsolete. There's no difference in performance. It really is just the looks of the product and for things like big ball. So if you've got an existing one and it's working, there's going to be no problems with it. Any software updates, any improvements we make will be made to the existing ones as well. So we always look after our existing customers. You haven't purchased something that's now not gonna be as good. Anything that happens on the new version will be on the old version as well because they run the same software. So that's the Nate Crony V2. Any questions, feel free to reach out to us as well. Drop some comments down below. Enjoy your testing.